All right, guys. Um, let's look at uh, volatility hundred one is uh setup. So and why uh we should look for a buy at this zone, right? So why did I choose this zone as our uh zone of possibilities for a buy? So let's start our top down analysis so that you can understand why we sh we I pick this zone for a buy. Okay. So let's uh, start from the beginning. I'm going to clear the chart. So as always, I was starting our analysis. Uh, we're starting top down analysis. So we're going to start from the weekly time frame or the monthly, but quickly let's start from the weekly time frame without much uh, delay. So from the weekly time frame, what can we see on this particular chart, right? So I can see that um, market is currently reacting from this uh, um, demand zone here, which is the buy neighborhood from the weekly time frame, right? So let me remove this line. All right, so from these demand zones and also if you look at it very well, the market also breaks structure here. There is a structure breaks here. Market break this structure aggressively, and then market finally come back to this demand area. So now look at also where the market was coming, was dropping. Look at how impulsive the market was coming. And then when the market started approaching our demand area, which is the buying neighborhood, the market started, uh, the, can the size of the candle started changing. You see uh, this, uh, uh, buyers started coming into the market. Finally, when the market dropped to the demand zones, you see uh, we see a lot of pressure and also see how market is moving and the candlesticks are forming within that zone in form of like a cyclical, right? So what do I mean by cyclical, right? You know, market is cyclical in nature. You see the market is coming and then it's giving out that cyclical uh, sign to start pushing back or bullish. So cyclical, you see the market moving uh, like this, and then it will come back like this, and then moving up like that. So the market is cyclical in nature, every market, all right? So now when market get into the demand zone, you see uh, that cyclical movement, the market giving us a sign to start pushing up. So this is our bias, this is our direction, this is, um our case right so the next thing you need to do is how do we now capitalize on these buying opportunities so we scale down to the lower time frame to see things clearly all right because we know from the higher time frame the market is reacting or uh it's currently currently reacting from the weekly uh demand zones or the weekly uh buying neighborhood right so let's go to the daily time frame and see so that we can see things clearly so if you come to the daily time frame, let's minimize this zoom so that we can see things clearly, right? So now look at uh, clearly market structure, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. And then the market got into the weekly uh, demand zones. Then the market started like consolidating, forming equal highs here. And then after the market consolidating for, some, for a while, what happened? We started seeing uh, the breach of the Dow theory, right? We started seeing all oh, change of character market giving us a uh, kind of uh, um, a, a bullish market structure. So let me show you. So now this is like, if you go to the line chart, you'll see clearly. Also, let's go to the line chart. This is synthetic indices, guys. So this is what, this is a low market break structure give us a higher high, higher high here, higher low, higher high, right? Then the market is coming back down to give us another higher low to continue pushing up, all right? So let's get back to candlestick. This is synthetic indices, okay, guys? So now we can see that the market structure market has started giving us a shift right uh, the bridge of the doubt theory has already occurred in the market 
after market, uh, after price get into the weekly demand zone, what do we see? We see the breach of the Dow theory from the uh, daily time frame signaling us that, okay, that demand zone is definitely going to hold for us to look for possible buy opportunities. So now we, we know the direction and then we can definitely become buyers, right? So let's scale down to the lower time frame so that we can get a good key point of interest because I don't want to use daily as a, our key point of interest. So now let's go to H12. Also, you come to H12, you can see things clearly. This is a high, this is a low, this is a higher high, then this is a lower low, right? And then um, let's go to H8. H8 also, we can see things clearly. So from the H8, I can see, uh, let's pick this zone. We can pick this zone here as a key point of interest, right? We can pick this as a key point of interest. You know, that other block, the zone is too big. So we can also go down to the H4 time frame to see how we can minimize our zone, all right? So here, I can say, okay, fine. This is, uh, let's delete this one. We can pick this zone here. This other block. In order to minimize our, our zone, we can use this other block on H4 as our key point of interest, right? And then this is where we should be looking for possible buy opportunities, but then, Let's also look for other confluences. So let's go back to the H8. If you look at other confluences, let me minimize the chart. Let's minimize this one. If you look at other confluences, you see that this market has been moving in channels. So we have to put in our channel. This is the channel, market moving in channel, like this as a confluence. So, also, yeah. So this market has actually been moving in channels like that. So this is confluence. Market towards the bottom of the channel goes up. The top of the channel comes down. Bottom of the channel goes up. Top of the channel is back to our back to our key point of interest, which is what the down of the channel and also within the H4 order block, right? So this is the reason we can look for possible uh, buy opportunities. So we use channel as also as a confluence, all right? So let's also look for another confluence. You know, a uh, confluence means having more than one reasons to, uh, having more than one reasons to take a trade or to 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 see that zone as a valid possibilities for you to react when market uh, comes there, right? So now let's go to the daily time frame. Back to the daily time frame, so I can look for um, I can look for line of sensitivity. So the line of sensitivity will have buy side line of sensitivity and sell side line of sensitivity. So it depends on the direction of the market. If you are looking for a buy you should be looking for what buy side line of sensitivity. If you are looking for a sell, you should be looking for what sell side line of sensitivity. So we can use this line of sensitivity here. I can see this one here. I'm looking for buy side line of sensitivity. This one here, right? So this is a buy side line of sensitivity, which is this one. I'm talking about this one. The market or when price in the past data price get to this line, it got rejected. So when we're looking for line of sensitivity, we want to see a line of, we want to see two or more touches or two or more rejection within that line of sensitivity, right? So now let's go to the past and see, okay, we have another rejection here. This level, we have another rejection here. All right, another buy side uh, rejection within the line of sensitivity. So let's go. Then we see another one here, buy side rejection, buy side rejection. 
So the line of sensitivity, this line of sensitivity is valid because we have more than two touches, right, within the same level. So this is what has already passed. The past uh, data has proved that this same line, this same level has been a problematic level that each time the market got there, it's always bad, right? So now, uh, I think that is enough reasons for for us to use that level as a line of sensitivity. And let's scale down to the lower time frame to our key point of interest to see if the line of sensitivity also align with our key point of interest, right? So we can go to H12, um, H8, H12, you see H8 uh, on the H8 order block, it also align. But let's see from the uh, H4, where we minimize our other block, right? So from the H4, you see this is the other block. Now we have the line of sensitivity in there, right? So now we have about three reasons to take a trade from that level. And that is why we are currently looking for uh, uh, entry confirmation on the lower time frame for us to buy uh, this particular trade. So your entry confirmation is going to come from the, from the, H, uh, M30, M15, then you take a trade, right? So uh, let's also, let me show you guys. Now, um, we have three confluences. We have it uh, order block based on our top down analysis, our skip on of interest. That is one reason we have uh, a line of sensitivity or that line, that same level, that same line of sensitivity in the past that has proven each time the market got there, it buy or the market got there, it bought, right? The market always, buyers always take control at that particular level of uh, sensitivity, right? That is number two reason. Then the, the third reason is the channel touch. Each time the market touch the bottom of the channel, it goes up. It touch the top of the channel, it comes down. So these are uh, confluences for us to build, uh, to have multiple reasons or more than one reason for us to look for buying opportunity at this level, right? Currently, I'm looking for, currently, uh, we're currently looking at that buy right now. So let's see how it play out, guys. So I'm going to give you guys updates how this play out. So always wait for entry confirmation. M30, M15, you take a trade. Don't panic, right? This is synthetic and this is no fundamentals. Once your zooms are right, are right, you take it, you take it, right? So guys, I'm going to come back for the update. Bye for now. 2,000 years later. All right, guys, update on volatility 100, right? So uh, the market play uh, beautifully and hit our TP. So our TP was at the uh, target of this high here. So you see our market reacting exactly from uh, order block. This is the H4 uh, order, refine order block. And then uh, top of the uh, bottom of the channel and also uh, bottom of the channel as confluence and also uh, within the line of sensitivity as shown in the analysis, right? And it played out beautifully. And I share this setup on the on my free Telegram channel for you guys and everybody uh, uh, take opportunities. Also, let's look at the H4 time frame. Okay, so on H4, I mean H8, the, uh, the other blow was so big. So yeah. This is H8 market reacting from our line of sensitivity, bottom of the channel, and then it play out beautifully. So H4 was refined here. So this is how we cut this trade. So we use line, um, we have many confluences, uh, line of sensitivity channel, and some other confluences I may be uh, discussing as we, as I keep uh, making such video for, uh, reasons for us to take a uh, trade and also explaining why we should be uh, looking for an opportunity to take such trade. So guys, thank you and I will see you in the next one.